Welcome to my lecture online. Here's another example where we're going to factor the same polynomial in three different ways. We're going to brute force it, then use the product and the sum method by writing it as four terms and, and, uh, and uh, combining two terms or grouping two terms. And then we're going to use the FOIL method. Let's see which method you like best. So first, our first one, we're going to write it as the product of two binomials. Now, when we look at the first term here, there's actually two ways in which we can write that. So I'm going to put two sets of binomials down, like this. In other words, I could write this as 2x times 2x to get the first term. So what we're doing here is looking at the first term and seeing how we can get the first term. So it's 2x times 2x, or we can write 4x times x, one or the other. Next, we're looking at the signs. Notice if the middle term is negative, and the last term is positive, that means that both of these must be negative because when we multiply two negative numbers together, we get a positive third term, and when we add them together, we get a negative middle term. So we know we're going to need negative signs. Now, what about, one, uh, what about uh, the last term, two? The only way to get two is to multiply one times two. Now, we either write one here and a two there, or a two there and a one there, but on the first example here, or the first set, it doesn't really matter because the first two terms are the same. So let's go ahead and plug that in and see if that is the right solution. Notice when we multiply these two terms together, we get minus four. Multiply these two terms together, we get minus two, or I should say minus four x and minus two x. That doesn't add up to minus nine x, so this is not a solution. So what we have left now is we either put a 1 there and we'll put a 2 there, or we could have it as a 4x and x, a minus and a minus. We'll put a 2 here and the 1 there. Let's see which of those two is correct. If we take a look at this one right here, notice that 4x times a negative 1 gives us a negative 4x, and a minus 2 times x x gives us a minus 2x, which is equal to minus 6x, which is not a minus 9x, so this also doesn't work. The only option left must be the correct one. Notice when I multiply the 4x times a negative 2, I get minus 8x, and if I multiply a negative 1 times a negative x, I get minus x, adds up to minus 9x, which is the right middle term, so this is the correct option. That's how we factor that. What if we use the technique where we're going to write it as, a as four terms? So we're going to split this up as 4x squared plus 2, and we have a minus something x and a minus something x. And we're looking for the two numbers that we can plug in there. The two numbers can be found by telling us that 4 times 2 is the product, so the product equals 2 times 4, which is 8 and the sum is equal to the middle term minus 9. So which two numbers, when you multiply them together, you get a positive 8, and when you add them together, you get a minus 9. The only options are minus 8 times a minus 1. When you multiply them, you get positive 8. When you add them, you get minus 9. So put a minus 8 there and a minus 1x there. Now we have four terms in our polynomial. We're going to group the first two terms and the last two terms together and factor out a common factor. Here, we can factor out a 4x and we're left with an x minus 2. Here, we can factor out a minus 1 and we're left with an x minus 2. The reason why I factor out a negative 1, not a positive 1, because I want these two to look exactly the same. Now, I can look at these two terms and realize I can factor out an x minus 2 so this can be written as an x minus 2, and what we have left is a 4x minus 1. And that's the factored form of our original problem, the very same result that we got over there. And finally, let's use the FOIL method. So when we use the FOIL method, notice we put all the possible combinations down, which is a 4, 1, 1, 4, and 2, and 2. Those are all the possible combinations when we multiply them to get a 4x squared. On the other end, we need two numbers that multiply together to give us a positive 2, but we know they must be negative, so how about a negative 1 and a negative 2? Negative 1 times negative 2 gives us a positive 2. We only need to put on one combination, 
because we already have all the possible combinations over here. So let's see if we get this correctly. 4, and of course we foil across like this, so 4 times a negative 2 gives us a negative 8, and a 1 times a negative 1 gives us negative 1, together is minus 9. Wow, first try, I get the right results. I got lucky on this one, because if I had tried, for example, another one, if I had gone 2 times a negative 2, which is a negative 4, and a 2 times a negative 1, which is a negative 2, adds up to negative 6. Of course, that doesn't work. This worked. It was the combination of these two numbers and those two numbers. And then we use those to finally put in the factored form. So this is equal to, there's our cat again, complaining about something. All right, she's a very old kitty. She's probably close to 20 years old. Oh well, continuing on. So now we write the two binomials. The first one will be 4x minus 1. So 4x minus 1. The second binomial will be 1x minus 2, or simply x minus 2. And notice that's the very same factored form that we got using the other two techniques. And that is how it's done.